Joining us from Capitol Hill, the mayor of Washington, D.C., Muriel Bowser. Uh, very good, good morning, to have Nico. you on the show. My how, pleasure. How did you do uh, overall? I, I know there was a little bit of a scare given the small storm that happened right before the big storm that didn't go so well. But how did well, Washington, D.C., weather the storm this time? Well, the scare, Mika, was a historic blizzard uh, coming yeah. into uh, to our city, and uh, it performed as forecast. We're uh, over 20 inches of snow. We haven't seen a snow like this in quite a while uh, in Washington. Uh, we have, uh, our residents have hunkered down. Uh, we had steady snow for 36 hours, and yesterday uh, was our, our big dig out day to start. Uh, and we know that we're going to be dealing with snow and digging out for the next several days. Mayor Bowser, it's Willie Geist. Here. I know you're in the middle of this, so we appreciate you stopping to talk My with pleasure. us. My um, pleasure. Has this been more difficult or uh, less difficult than you thought it was going to be given the forecast of the storm that come? I know you got a little dry run, kind of a dress rehearsal on Wednesday with the light dusting, uh, but how do you feel like your, your team has tackled the storm? Well, this, uh, I think our team has performed incredibly well. We have uh, government workers and contractors who have been on 12 hour shifts since uh, Friday morning, um, and they're doing incredibly uh, well. Uh, we have uh, hit our major arterials and we're into our neighborhoods to get our neighborhood streets uh, up and running uh, as well. Sam Stein has a question. I think it's specifically about his own driveway. <laughs> Sam, if you could broaden, that would be great. Go ahead. For the record, I don't have a driveway. Thank you. Uh, two questions, actually. One is, sure. what, are, what, are, what services are being provided for the homeless in the city who might be completely stranded by what's happening? And then unrelatedly, I know that the metro system is pretty hampered right now and remaining below ground and running very infrequently. Why is it taking so long to get that mode of public transportation back online? Well, uh, thanks for your question. Uh, sure. We uh, have looked out for our most vulnerable residents uh, beginning on Friday before the storm came in, trying to get everybody uh, inside. And we had our street teams and outreach teams working to do that. And, and pretty incredibly, uh, we got a good number uh, of people in, and we're aware of anybody who refused to come in uh, to make so that we can make sure uh, that they're safe. We opened warming centers in the case that we lost power. Uh, we did not lose power, so that has been uh, the good news that came out of this storm as well. Uh, we were with our, our, our Metro uh, GM and his staff throughout uh, the storm. Uh, they got back up partially, so most uh, stations in the district are up and running today, all of the underground stations, mm. and they have limited uh, bus service uh, as well. Now, we have also, because of some of our crews that, we, that were prepared to tackle down wide uh, our HCMA director is working with Metro to make those crews, uh, any crews that we can pull off once we clear all of our schools available to Metro. If snow clearing would help them get the system up more quickly. Mm. Joe. Yeah, well, so, so Mika, it appears that the mayor's very uh, forward leaning approach on this snow removal is far different than. Uh, the late great Marion Berries, who while on vacation said of the snowstorm in the D.C., God brung it, God can take it away. <laughs> wow, yeah, that was a different approach. <laughs> she got it. Mayor no. Bowser, thank you very, very much for being on. Thanks, Mika. All right, so Steve Kornacki, uh, the politics of snow. There are uh, a lot of different angles to this. Chris Christie, I think, at one point got caught uh, in Disney World or somewhere, but he came home. Um, it seemed almost a little bit begrudgingly, but I, I could be wrong about that. He had to, and boy, is he lucky he did. That was yeah, that was back in 2010. Christie yeah. was was down in Orlando uh, uh, when there was a, a snowstorm. I mean, th this one was an interesting one too because the timing of it. Look, I mean, it, it's been talked about, but Chris Christie fighting for his political survival up there in New Hampshire. The whole strategy is do as many of those town halls mm -hmm. as humanly possible, meet as many voters one on one as humanly possible. You get this forecast. Initially, his campaign was sending. Out signals they plan to stay up in New Hampshire for the weekend. He ended up coming back Friday. I think it was about 10 a.m. yesterday that he basically said, "Okay, it's, it's okay for me to go back to New Hampshire." Mm -hmm. He flew a, a, a private plane up there. You know, yeah. it's Christie more than anybody. Interesting. His career has sort of been shaped by yep. these major yep. weather events. It was Sandy, everybody remembers, and of course, Sandy vaulted him the national popularity. It also caused the hug with Obama that's given him so much grief on the right. Before Sandy, it was Irene. That was a year before. That's when he said, "Get the hell off the right. beach." That was yep. another one of those. Mm -hmm. 
major moments for Chris Christie. It's, all, it's funny though, Joe mentions uh, Marion Barry, right? The, the, the 1987 blizzard in Washington, D.C. Marion Barry went out to the Super Bowl, stayed there for six days, got a manicure, played tennis, mm -hmm. and said, yeah, God can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Chris Christie joins us ahead next hour, so he'll talk to us about that. Up next, Senator Rand Paul joins us live here in New York, now just seven days away. The countdown is truly on from the Iowa caucuses. We'll be right back. Hey, YouTube fans, I'm Luke Russert. Thanks for checking out our MSNBC channel. Subscribe by clicking right here and click any of the videos over here to watch the latest breaking news, mini documentaries, conversations from Shift, and other digital exclusives. Check it out.